Hey gang, it's Hexy. Let's catch up with the action in the desert here. So we have played through to the 24th. We're starting the 24th of November, 1941 turn. <laughs> okay, so the Germans have to keep to get a win. They have to keep this MSR closed going to Tobruk. And they have to keep, which you can't really see it on the map over there, they also have to keep Bardia occupied and have more units within the Bardia perimeter than the Allies do. The Allies, all they have to do to win is break open this supply route. It's a, that's an automatic victory. So the victory conditions on this one are kind of throwing me off. It seems like they're a little, you know, the Germans have to do two things to win the Allies only have to do one. So, so if the, oh, okay, okay. So, all right, so if, if the Allies were to take the Bardia or execute the Bardia um, victory conditions, but not break open the supply route to Tobruk, it would end up in a draw. Okay, so that's how I'm determining. All right, so anyhow, let's, uh, we're going after Tobruk. I mean, pretty much, you know, this is, we're four. This is four turns, so it's been. There's been some serious move, motion here. All right. So first off, you'll notice there's no more locked markers on, because I decided that once the Brits, the Allies, got here, that it was time for 70th Infantry Division to go ahead and activate. Well, just went ahead. Because once I voluntarily activate something, everything for the axes gets unlocked. So I went ahead and unlocked 70th and the uh, uh, the Polish unit, the SBSK unit. So, which has a Czech unit in it too. And they're actually, they're not too bad. Their uh, uh, action range are pretty good. Which then in turn opened up all the Italian units and the Africa division. Which I just realized is nothing but infantry. Nothing but infantry. Um, so as I started this turn, I started pulling some support units out of support and putting in them into use, such as the Panzer Jags for the Afrika division, the 102s for the Arietti, plus the Arietti got reinforcements, which their, their MSR is narrowly open. All right. So they got their 88 free and they got I, their 88. I turned him out last time. Their 102s came out this time because we're going to start using some of that firepower. And then they got two tankette little units in there. So um, the Brits, I wanted to bring 7th Armored support out, which are some um, um, Matildas, but they don't have a complete MSR because their, their combat trains is off map. 22nd Armored, I brought their Matildas out to use them because they need to clear this road of, of the Italian recam unit that came down here. So, the Brits pushed in. Arietta was able to respond and did a pretty good job of setting off. 15th Panzer had terrible activations. So, their second activation, they were failed. They were not able to fly up this road. So, the first South Africa has moved in. 22nd Armor moved up, but then Recam was one of the later drawed activations, which you can't see them, sorry. This Italian, which is, they're not a bad unit. They came in on this road here. So they came in and just demolished the combat trains. That's the cool thing about not looking at where reinforcements are coming in at. Then you, it's kind of a surprise. Now in this turn, Treste comes in right here. So there's another unit coming into the flank. Um, bunch of units that were knocked out to the turn record track uh, on the last turn have all come back in. Um, Arietti got one, the Pavia right here. They got one of their units back. Uh, let's see. 21st Panzer. Let's go over here, get a different look. So 21st Panzer, who I decided I had to pull back cause I needed to, I needed to recover them in here. They got, that's good because the, the Germans rolled a six for replacements this time and really brought these guys back to decent strengths. You know, you can only assign one replacement point to a unit. So, uh, Vecmar's reconnaissance, or his camp group, we 
took one of those points and put it on this, the me mechanized unit here, the reconnaissance unit, and brought him back. So he's got both his recon units, or excuse me, on this one here. Mind you, he's only got one step. Fourth armored for the Brits. They got two points back in armor. And I think I took one for the Scots Guards. And I brought their Valiants, or the Valentines, back on. Because you see where they're headed. They're headed here. I need to get support group who I was able to completely refresh two of their empty uh, uh, battalions. So they're only two-step units. They're powerful, but they're only two-step. And the New Zealanders here. Down here towards the frontier. All right, things are getting a little interesting down here. Because they're headed towards Bardia. So the New Zealand division, not the fifth ring, but the division, they're all up through here. So Savona's pulling off the frontier. And Bach is going to, I got both his 88s out. Bach needs to dis dismantle the 11th Brigade of the 4th Infantry Division so they can come back here to the fight. If they don't get it done this turn, they're going to have to start pulling back. Um, Savona's okay. They got a bunch of four AR units and then mostly threes. They got a few fours and then some threes, but they're okay. Um, fourth infantry down here. The forts are all broken out. New Zealand and fourth infantry have cleared there. They've reached enough of the minefields now so they can use these roads here. So that's going to clear up their supply. So they're all, this whole, you've got one, two, three, four, five formations. They're going to be working on Bardia in this area, which there's Bardia right here. And then... The British have some more reinforcements to come on. They've got the second South African. And then they got some support units there that'll be coming on here and here. The Germans, they've only got one more coming on, okay? And then here's all your destroyed units right here. Which they can come back in unless they have a yellow circle. So all of these are available to come back in. All right, so that's where we're sitting on the campaign Operation Crusader for Brazen Chariots. It, this is, I think it's reached its interesting point. For the time being, until, well, I mean, there's really nothing else that's going to come on the map. So this is it right here as far as, well, it's on my darn thing here. Well, poo. There we go. All right, so it's reached its, its interesting point to see what this does right here. This, so the first division to get activated this time, it's the Brits, and we chose... I chose 22nd armor so they can clean up, hopefully clean up this road right here. But the next few activations, depending on who, whether it's 70th Infantry, whether it's 7th Armor, whether it's Pavia, Arietti, or Africa, or the 1st South African, or maybe even 15th Panzer sitting up here, is going to determine what happens in here. Because at any moment this route gets open, it's a victory for the Brits. So the fighting is going to intensify, because you can bet i got to take the opportunity while i got it right now, while all these formations are up here, and try to break through this thing is open. If uh, 22nd Armored can clear out the road here, that might be a big plus. So, all right, we're going to get this thing posted, and I'm going to get started on this next turn. And uh, let's see how it goes in the desert. All right, guys, Hexy, we'll talk to you all soon.